Hi, it's Madame Barry, and today I'm going to show you how I stream traditional art on Twitch. So jumping right in, the bare minimum, the two things you will need to stream are going to be a PC or a laptop or something to broadcast off of, and a webcam. So as for my setup, it's a bit more involved in that and I'll step through it, but my PC is over on this desk. And my art desk that I have my webcam on is over here. Um, but the reason I do this is twofold. One, the lighting is much better over here as you can see. And two, I, there's no room on this desk. I'm not putting art on this desk. And plus, like, I don't want to accidentally spill paint water on my keyboard or my monitor or tablet or anything like that. So it's just a lot easier and a lot safer to just put my art over here. That poses a couple problems though, which is that my back is to my streaming PC. So there's a couple ways I solve that. But first, the webcam that I use is the Logitech C922, and that's your pretty standard one that everyone tends to recommend, because it's relatively inexpensive, and it's pretty darn good for the price. And so if you want to get a little bit more involved than just a webcam hooked up to a PC, the next thing that you will need is a microphone. And you can use the microphone that's built into your webcam. I did that for years. That's, that's how I streamed for years. But now I have this condenser mic, and I don't know what the brand of it is, um, but you can also get like a Blue Yeti or another relatively inexpensive condenser mic, and I have mine hooked up to just a, a cheap-ish boom arm that you can get off of Amazon. So if you have a webcam and a microphone, you're basically set, unless you want to do a face cam. In which case, I have a second webcam, hello again, up sitting on top of my tablet. And I have it facing the wall because when I'm not streaming, I do that because I'm paranoid. Um, and frankly, I feel like it's justified. <laughs> again, here, coming back to uh, my back facing my PC, when I'm streaming at my art desk, I cannot see the chat. So that's where I have this tablet hooked up to, it's just like a, a swivel stand um, that's screwed into a stud in the wall. But on that I can put up my Twitch dashboard and see, like, you know, who's, who's following or subscribing or whatever. Uh, see the little stream preview to make sure everything is good and I'm not dropping frames. And then Twitch chat will appear over on this side. And then I have a keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse hooked up into that so I can actually use this tablet uh, from where I'm sitting. And then again, because my back is facing the PC, it's kind of a pain in the butt to like mute my microphone or change scenes or any of that. So I have a mini Elgato stream deck. And this this is where it gets into like the, uh, you definitely don't need this, especially when you're starting out. And I didn't have this for like years. I just got it maybe like three months ago or something like that. And it's just been a little handy. Cause I can, what I can do is I have different scenes set up for, um, like BRB and like my art camera and my face camera. So what I can do is I can press a button here and it automatically changes it over on this side. And if I need to BRB or like mute my microphone, I can just mute my microphone and it automatically mutes in OBS and it's nice. So that's just a little extra handy thing that I got because I face away from my PC when I'm streaming. It was, it just, it saves me a mild pain in the ass. So all of that, the, the microphone, the two webcams, all of that feeds over into the cable management void of doom up into my PC where we go to OBS Studio, also using the OBS Live plugin by Stream Elements. And that just gives me... So OBS Studio is your basic streaming software. Um, 
but the OBS Live plugin from Stream Elements gives me my Twitch chat and my Stream Elements activity feed built into the program, which is super nice. You can also use like Streamlabs OBS, there's a Twitch, it's Twitch Live. So it does not matter what software you use. Um, XSplit is a thing that people use too. Uh, OBS is free though, so go download OBS. But that feeds all of my sources into one layout. And I can put, you know, my webcam over top of it. Um, if I have any follow alerts, those can go over top. Whatever overlay I want to use um, for like decoration or what have you, all of that can go over top. And then again, I have my chat over here and my activity feed. So if I'm streaming digital art, I can see it all over here. And then if I'm streaming traditional art, I can see it all over here. So yeah, that's how I stream traditional art on Twitch. Yes, that is a five pound weight counterbalancing my webcam. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, see you next time.